What if I told you that you could quickly increase your landing page conversion rate with less than five minutes of work and by simply changing one small design element on your landing page navigation bar. Sounds too good to be true? Well, it's not. In this video, I'm gonna share a powerful yet simple design hack that boosted a number of our client conversion rates by up to 39%. You'll learn exactly what this tweak is, how to implement it, and why it works so effectively. Trust me, you don't wanna miss this. So if you're ready to increase your conversions, keep watching, let's dive right in. Hey, Sam here from Atomic Marketing. Let's get started with this presentation. I'm really excited because it's something that is so quick to implement and we've already seen it improve our conversion rates for three of our clients and more currently in testing. So let's dive right in. So enter the navigation bar. It really is one of the most overlooked design elements of landing pages, but also websites as well, in my opinion. Typically what you see with navigation bar design, you've got the logo in the top left and then a phone number or CTA button in the top right. Pretty conventional, but it is a little bit boring and there's so much more that you can use in terms of the design for your nav bar. Here's an example of a landing page where you've got the logo top left, phone number top right, and then so much real estate, so much space being unused, and it looks really bare and barren. This example on the right, you kind of see it's a full website. They've got the nav, looks really traditional, and you don't really think anything of it. You just think, oh, that's what nav bar design looks like. Now, when you go into mobile designs, and this was me searching for a pest control company, I picked a number of different websites to give you an idea of what I typically see. And this is not just for pest control, but loads of websites and loads, loads of other different industries follow the same kind of pattern. But what you see here is like a lot of information, nothing really of huge value other than like the logo and the hamburger menu. Some people have a call CTA, some people have like social icons, which is not gonna work very well if you're running uh, traffic from a campaign to a landing page, but you kind of get the idea here is that these nav bars take up a huge amount of real estate. And this is particularly important on mobile design as well. So like just bear this in mind as we continue this presentation. Here's a few more examples from the plumbing and heating industry here in the UK. You can see that particular example on the left has just the logo. This one in the middle is a little bit better. It's got the CTA button, the hamburger menu, and then Pimlico, pretty big company. Logo top left, hamburger menu top right. They've, they do have their sticky mobile uh, CTA in the footer there. But overall, you can see here, there's nothing really too special or exciting going on in these nav bar designs. Now, what I'm going to reveal to you is the five minute design hack that we used for a client that led to a 39% increase in conversion rate. So here it is in your nav include the review platform logo plus the review count. We had always used the uh, logo and star rating badge in our navs. I don't know why, but it was a design that I started using years ago and something I'd always uh, decided to use in the, nav, in the nav because I found it always worked. But then more recently, when we started getting clients who had a lot higher number of reviews, I thought, okay, why don't we just stop putting the review count in alongside it? Surely that makes it look more authoritative and more trustworthy. And so let me show you some of the results since implementing this. You can see here, this is one of our pest control clients in variant A. All we had was the Google review or Google rating badge of five stars in the top right of the nav. That was converting at 19.71%. We changed the logo up to the different variant of the Google logo and then put the review count right below it, 281 Google reviews. You can see that variant B, 27.45%. Here's a screenshot of our Unbounce account of the test currently in progress. You can see that's a 39% increase in conversion rate. Now, if you look, it's only had 51 visitors at the time of filming. I think it's actually a little bit higher now, but you can see here, even from this short amount of time, that is a massive increase. Normally what you'd see if you're running like a small test is you wouldn't see an increase of 39% in that shorter amount of time. But 
according to Unbounce, it's got 83.06% per statistical significance. So you need to run it a little bit longer before it's statistically significant to become the winner. But honestly, at this stage, and the client and the types of clients that we work with, we're just looking for quick, easy wins. And honestly, use your gut feeling. If the Google review logo looks better with a review count than the user, and like if you see it start winning early, then we'll typically like choose it and make it the winner before it's of statistical significance because we just want quicker results for our clients. And we know it's going to be better over the long run as well. Here's another example of a loft insulation client of ours. Again, exact same sort of thing that we had running. Google review badge, top right, converting at 19.33%. Variant B, changed the logo, added the 88 Google review count right beneath it. And you can see here that led to a 24.07% conversion rate. Here's the screenshot within our Unbounce account. That's a 25% increase in conversion rate just by changing the logo and putting the review count right beneath it. Finally, here's a third example. This is for one of our roofing clients. You can see variant A was currently converting at 14.71%. That then increased to 18.96% when we changed the checker trade logo to include the rating and the number of reviews right below it. Here's how it looks on desktop. So as you can see, I actually then include another review platform as well, just to really stack the social proof in our favor. And here are the results from within our Unbounce account. You can see that's a 29% increase by literally just adding the review count and the logo in the top right hand side of the nav. So it's such a small minor change, but has such a huge impact on the results. Here's a quick test result summary. So you can see that first example, 39% increase, a 25% increase for loft insulation, then a 29% increase in roofing. We're also running more tests for our other clients and they are seeing similar results as well. So it's still really early days, but we do believe like this is hands down one of the best sort of quickest things that you can be doing to improve your conversion rate. But it does rely on you having a decent volume of reviews to be able to do it. Because one question that I was kind of considering was how many reviews do you need to be able to put it up there um, and not have it as a detriment to the conversion rate? So for example, if you've got maybe less than 20 reviews, maybe that is actually going to have an adverse effect on your conversion rate. Whereas you should just run the badge on its own until you get to a certain number. But what is that number? Well, I think it completely depends on the industry and how many your competitors have or how many reviews your competitors have. So have a look at your competitors, see what the kind of average number is, and then kind of make a gut decision based on that. I think if you're like about average or higher, then it makes sense to put your review count in there. If it's too low, just kind of wait until you've got more reviews and then add it in at a later stage. So really what like our takeaway from this was that the nav bar design presents a huge opportunity. It stacks social proof in an unmissable position right at the top of the page. And for the clients that we work with, like trades, home improvement, it just makes so much sense to be able to show trust as soon as we possibly can. It also gives the page a higher production value, which also equals more trust. I think it looks really smart there in the top right, rather than just having a call button that's my personal opinion, but we've seen it just does get really good results. And it also helps your design be a bit more unique in a sea of sameness. So everyone typically has the exact same sort of design logo and then call CTA or whatever it is. I think just by adding that small des design element to it, it just adds a little extra um, to the page. And from what we've seen, increases conversion rate as well. So a bit of a no brainer, but like, Come at this with an open mind. And if you're interested in design, experiment with testing other things as well. We've just kind of rolled with it now. And so that all the new pages that we designed, they'll always have the review count. And in the past, I'd always just put the, the logo there in the top right. I don't know where I got the idea from. Maybe I saw it from someone else, but I saw, okay, that does quite well. And I always used it. And then again, when we started getting clients who had like very decent number of reviews, I just thought one day, oh, why don't we put the review count in there too? 
looks better. And there you go, <laughs> increase in conversion rate. And here's actually an example of me redesigning someone's landing page, a company called um, Garola here in the UK. They do electric garages. And I redesigned the nav bar and then actually ended up whole, designing their whole hero section. But the main thing I wanted to show you here was how we can take their, their nav, where you can see it, all it has is excellent and a number of Trustpilot stars, and then incorporating that into the main nav and then putting a call button CTA as well. And you can see how much space that saves compared to their first one. It probably takes up 50% less of the space. And in my opinion, it looks more trustworthy because you can see the 7,001 reviews that they have rather than just four and a half stars. I then went one step further and actually re decided to redesign the whole hero section. So what we sometimes do on client landing pages include a little section below the nav for benefit points or some kind of information that we want to convey very quickly, uh, where we don't want to rely on people scrolling past the hero image and the, the hero um, headline as well. We just put in the UK's number one rated garage door company. You can see there in the middle example, it takes up quite a lot of room. So we thought, okay, we could just make it a little bit smaller. Change the hero image to something a bit clearer as to what it is, and then just moved and rejigged a few elements around. And I thought that looked really smart. So I, I know that wasn't all the nav, but I just wanted to kind of show you what's possible when you relook at things and can rejig things. So I guarantee that would probably have a conversion rate improvement compared to their original design. And in conclusion, what we found is that showing your social review count delivers higher conversion rates than simply just showing the source logo on its own. And really, I'm not advocating this is going to work for everyone, but I'm just sharing what's worked for us for the campaigns that we manage in the home improvement and trade sector. So if you've enjoyed the content and you're looking for a little bit more, there are a few things that we do. We do Google Ads management. We do landing page design, consulting and coaching if you're an agency. And we've also recently launched a private community at the time of recording this video, actually, it's coming out in two weeks from now. So depending on when you're watching, it might well be live, but in the private community, we basically will be having two weekly live calls where you can come in, share any problems that you have with your lead gen campaigns, landing pages, and we'll diagnose them right there and then on the call. So you can go away with an action plan to implement get better results, retain your clients for longer, and ultimately get paid more as well from delivering exceptional results. This private community is focused for B2C lead gen campaigns. There's nothing to do with e-com. So if you kind of watch any of the content that I share on YouTube and you have similar sort of clients to the examples that I share, I think it could be hugely valuable to you. You'll find a link to it in the description below. And just leave a comment if you're interested as well and be happy to get back to you on it. And as always, you can visit our website, atomicmarketing.com for any information and find out more about what we do in terms of the agency side of things. So yeah, feel free to check us out. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe so that you can see all of the latest content that we're putting out. It really does help the channel, helps inspire me to keep going, making these sort of videos and yeah, just, yeah, keep watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.